Okay, so this is the example that uh, we walked through on the screencast, and now what we're going to do is um, go through how to do this on the calculator, okay? Just to make sure that you're following the right steps. So we had this situation in which we had um, this low-risk and, and high-risk investment in the previous video, so in your notes, um, you should have how to do this on a calculator. Um, and we created two equations. Um, one equation was our coefficient matrix. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. It was, uh, oops, it was a two by two. So I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to go ahead and edit and hit enter. It was a two by two, and we had one because we had one x plus one x, and then we had 0 0.05 for our investment, our 0.05%, that's this value right here, or not 0.05%, but 0 0.05, and then 0.14, so 14%, and those are the coefficients of the linear system that I created. So now i got to quit out of here. I'm going to clear that, or delete that, I should say. Uh, go back into my matrix option, go to edit, I'm going to edit the second one. Now this one was actually a 2 by 1. I'm a 2 by 1, not a 21 by 2, a 2 by 1. Okay? And the first was the $50,000, because that's how much I'm investing, right? So that's $50,000. And the second one was how much I expect uh, to earn off the interest, and that's five grand. So good, I got, the, I got that information in. And then... I quit out so I'm on the main window and what we did is we said okay well if I take the inverse <clears throat> of my coefficient matrix so a inverse and I multiply it with the constant matrix or the answers to the problem it will give me my solutions and this is what I had on the window um, when I did the screencast for this example and so you're gonna see that this problem right here is these are the solutions. So this first part is X. That's how much money we should invest in the 0 0.05, excuse me, the 5% investment. And that's how much money we should put into the 14% uh, investment. And so that's how we would use our calculator to solve this. And this is a pure calculator problem. Okay, so this is the type of situation where you'd see on a calculator test.